What's going on with y'all, fam? We back with another message, back with another video. Y'all tap in, tune in, lock in, smash that like button, hit subscribe. Your boy just woke up, but I'm here to give you guys a message. If you're new to the channel, thank you for joining. Thank you for subscribing. If you don't know, I am an artist. I have music available everywhere. My latest album, Hidden Hills, is out. Hidden Hills 2 is on the way. If you haven't seen my latest music video on top, I just released that yesterday. For all the people showing me love and support in the comment section, I see you guys. I love you guys. I thank you guys for all the support. New hoodies in again. We got the isolated in the navy blue. Also gonna insert this other shirt here. I'm trying to be up on top. top. I really been through a lot. lot. All of these records get dropped. Drop. That's another shirt that I got that you can go check out at soulswithpurpose.com if you want any clothing. Can't thank you guys enough for the love and support. Today's video and message is gonna be, we're gonna call this therapy talks with your boy Justice, man. A lot of the times I come on here and I'm just speaking my mind, speaking from experience, speaking from things God has shown me and is teaching me throughout my process and my journey. So this one's just going to be kind of like a therapy session. You can stick around to the end. And if you want, make sure you smash the like button. You leave a comment down below. Lately on this journey, I've been real heavy about allowing God to set boundaries in my life. And I've realized that the more that you line yourself up with the word of God, the more protected you become from pretty much anything and everything that's trying to do harm towards you, whether that's physically or spiritually or mentally. And this is God basically creating the boundaries in our life for us by giving us his word and calling us to be obedient to it. So the more boundaries you have set in your life that are set rooted in Christ, you're going to begin to expose the narcissistic people around you just by you living by the word of god boundaries begin to expose people right you start to see what's in their heart you'll start to see their true intentions their true motives what the real reason is for them being around in your life if you start to live firmly in your boundaries that have been set forth in your life by the most high god and his word a lot of people chosen one want to be able to relate to you for a lot of people being relatable means being miserable Okay, suffering, being miserable, being depressed, sad, upset, and we are all humans. We all go through these things. It's normal. But people like the relatable version of you. The less serious version of you, the more gullible, the one that tolerates the disrespect, the one that tolerates the toxic behaviors that people have, you know, given towards you over the years. They think that a lot of the times when you begin to set boundaries in Christ, right and what does this mean like i said the word of god having boundaries in christ meaning you can't cross certain lines with me anymore based on how god is asking me to live based on how god is teaching me to move and a lot of the times when you set these boundaries forth in your life i've realized and noticed that a lot of people think it's just a phase people can think oh you know outsiders can think oh he's just going through a phase she's just going through a phase they don't understand that this is an actual transformation going on with you chosen one they don't understand that you can actually change and be transformed by the Most High God. A lot of people believe nobody can ever change because they have been changed. They've been trying to change on their own. They haven't been letting God do the work on them, right? Through his word, through praying, through fasting, through seeking him out. You begin to set boundaries in your life. The demons that are within people, okay, they are going to try to cross those boundaries. They're going to see it as, oh, you are being prideful now. You think you're better than everybody else. They're going to say, you know, you really haven't changed this is a phase but you see the reason this is is because your boundaries are exposing them now they don't like it if you're not willing to do certain things anymore in life i'm not willing to smoke and drink i'm not willing to go party i don't want to go do this i don't want to have sex outside of marriage i want to do this i want to do that right you're living by the word your boundaries that you have set forth are going to expose their true intentions they still going to love you once they realize that you are no longer trying to willfully participate in sin, are they still going to stick around? Are they going to encourage you? Are they going to treat you different now that they realize you have these boundaries? You see, they're going to try to cross them a lot of the times, especially if the people in your life who you have close to you are narcissistic and they want what? Control. Demons are controlling. Demons are very, um, they don't, they don't respect boundaries. So they're going to try to cross them. You just stand firm in your faith. You allow God's word every single day to remind you of why you have the boundaries you have in life, why you're choosing to follow after him and his word and his ways. If you don't if you don't got no one else around you, just allow God 
to remind you through his word on why you have these boundaries set forth. Why you're beginning and choosing to live for him now. Nobody has to understand it. People can think whatever they want. But you see, boundaries begin to cancel control. Not only is it going to expose the people's true intentions around you, it's going to expose people's hearts. It's going to expose everything about people when you have boundaries in Christ. But it also cancels control. Everything that you're allowing to dictate your life anymore now is the word of God and what God is telling you to do. Through prayer, right? Obedience to his word. You're not allowing anything else to control you. That's what boundaries does. And that's why narcissists do not like when you have boundaries. But this is something I am adamant on. We have got to learn to set boundaries in Christ. Now, boundaries don't always just mean, oh, you know, don't do this, don't do that. Boundaries is so much more deeper, right? It can get down to the spiritual depths. If you have spiritual gifts, connecting with certain people, understanding the boundaries in that, understanding soul ties, understanding all these different things, you've got to have boundaries. And it's going to cancel control. And the narcissist never wants you to step into that. The narcissist craves what? Control. They're controlling, very controlling. They have a lot of demons operating within them. So they feel like almost like an obsession, right? It's an obsession with control. It's an obsession with dictating your life. They don't like when you have the boundaries set in your life based on the word of God. It cancels out their control. It exposes their heart. It exposes what's inside of their heart, whether it's jealousy, lust, malice, anything. You know, secret jealousy for you, hatred, all these different things begin to come out the more that you stay in the place that God wants you to stay in with him. Living in the spirit, thirsting after the spirit every day, not thirsting after this flesh no more. You see, a lot of people want you to identify with a version of yourself that God had to kill. I'm going to say that again. A lot of people want you to identify with the version of yourself that God had to kill and that you have to deny daily which is what? Your flesh. People want the fleshly version of you. You know why? Because it makes people more comfortable. A lot of the times people are going to see you as more cool too. Oh, he's cool. He's chill. He's not so serious about life. But you see, when you start to take your walk with God serious and you start to talk about God a lot and you start to live a certain way and you can't be around certain things anymore because the Holy Spirit is going to convict you every time, people don't want that version of you because it applies pressure to them. It applies pressure to the strongholds in their life, to the sin in their life, and to the demons that may be operating within them. That's why I'm big on boundaries, man. You got to keep them boundaries set, and God does the work for you. You know, that's what I realized is the more that I align myself up with God and his word, the more that I truly seeked out the wisdom and knowledge and tried to apply it to my life every single day, the more I realized people start dropping out of my life, the more I realized people's, people's masks coming off, their true colors. God was doing the work for me just by me aligning myself with his word. You see, this is what he wants to do for you, chosen one. You know, a lot of people want you to remember where you came from. You know, those people that you can get around that always want to reminisce. They like the fleshly version of you. Don't forget where you came from, right? This is a tactic of the enemy trying to get you back into that fleshly self, into those, um, into the ways of the flesh. So you can become... You know, controllable again, gullible again, believing that sin is okay. All of these things that people don't like to see. You know, people don't like to see when you're operating in that quote unquote seriousness that you have about you, chosen one. You just take life serious a lot of the times because you're trying to grow. You're trying to elevate. You're trying to get everything you can get done. Why we have time here left on this earth. A lot of people want to reminisce though, man. Especially when you set boundaries. If you talk to somebody, you know, they want to reminisce and kind of plant those seeds within you that's the devil using them whether they realize it or not getting you to reminisce on your past who you were before christ who you were when you backslid who you were when you were struggling the devil wants you to stay in your old ways your old sin he's going to use people to convince you that it's okay that you're more accepted as well a lot of the times these people are only doing it to gain control over you they just want some kind of real estate in your life they want to play God in your life somehow, some way, however they, whatever you're willing to give them, they'll take it. But you have got to keep the boundaries set in your life. This is something I'm big, big about, right? And I'm learning more and more about the more we read, the more we understand how God is calling us to live. The more that we understand his ways and how he's teaching us to move, how he's teaching us to operate in every area of our life. One of those things is setting boundaries, remaining firm in your faith. People can be trying to pull you left and right. Well, let's do this. Let's and you can say, my God says this, right? I'm, a, I'm being obedient to God right now as best as I can be. So I can't do that no more. I apologize. I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. People aren't going to like that. People are going to think that you're stuck up. You're prideful. Why? Because they have carnal minds. They don't understand. Things, things that are carnal 
are never going to be able to comprehend the things of the spirit. A lot of the people that you could be around may not have a relationship with Christ or they may have, you know, lukewarm or they don't understand the, the inner depths of this stuff and how sin affects your life and how the devil begins to gain access in your life. This is why you got to take your walk so serious now. See, it's going to expose people, though. The closer you get to God, the more that you move trying to please him in his ways and not other people. It's just going to begin to expose people and they don't like that, especially people who know what they're doing, who have had these intentions and motives around you for quite a while now. They know what they have been doing, right, which is trying to control you, play God in your life, obsess over you, all these weird things, right? You got to just let them know, not even by words a lot of the times. You got to let people know what your actions show them. With your actions, right? If you cut somebody off and God told you to cut them off, keep them cut off until God says otherwise. If he says otherwise, God's telling you not to go here anymore. Don't go there anymore. Don't ever show up again. Let people know that you're serious, right? Because at the end of the day, the demons operating in people are not going to respect your boundaries until you make, the, you make them understand that you're not wavering. This isn't just a phase. This is a new thing that's happened in my life. I'm a new creation in Christ. The old me has died. A lot of people don't want to hear that especially narcissistic people who are based on egos. They're based on, you know, it, it's all, um, <laughs> it's basically Satan in the flesh, man. I'm realizing it more and more every day. The word of God will cancel Satan, right? The word of God cancels him out. So the more that you set boundaries in Christ, the more you're going to cancel out the narcissist in your life. God does the work for us. It's crazy, man. You know, I'm realizing that, that the word of God is literally like, it's the work that's already finished for us. We just have to apply it. That's all we got to do. It's already freely given. We just have to apply it. You see, and when people see you start to apply this, these demons as well, right? The devil himself sees you start to apply God's word. That's when he's going to begin to try to use people to discourage you, to tell you that your boundaries are too high, you have too high of standards now. You think you're better than everybody. Remember where you came from. All these different things are going to start happening because they they don't like that they're losing control over you. They don't like also that your boundaries in, 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 in this new way of living and thinking and moving and operating is exposing them. You're not even trying to do it naturally. It's God using you to expose their hearts and their minds to not only those around them, but to themselves so they can get into a point and place of reflection and repentance. That's what it's all about. They want the more relatable version of you, chosen one. You were never supposed to be relatable. OK, maybe, you know, to a degree, to an extent so we can win souls and we have a testimony. We all have a past. But when you begin to start to really let God mold and shape your life and transform you long term. And you people realize, OK, this isn't a phase anymore. He's really moving like this. She's really, you know, doing this and doing things different now. You're going to start to weed out these people and they're not going to like it. And they expose that their true intention. They only loved you when you had sin in your life. They, don't, they didn't love you. They lusted you. Right. They only wanted uh, control over you. They only wanted to see you as somebody that they had ownership over. It wasn't nothing genuine. And, and that gets exposed. The closer you get to God, the more you begin to move and operate in the spirit and not in the flesh carnal folks around you when they see that you're transforming and changing and you're starting to seek after things of the spirit they're going to feel uncomfortable and they're not going to be able to comprehend what you're doing why you're doing the things you're doing the flesh will never be able to comprehend it let the reminiscing don't let people constantly reminding you of uh you know how you could even be accepted more the devil will do this to us especially a lot of us out here who go through isolation and we have, you know, we have to battle with the spirit of rejection and all these different things. The devil likes to sugarcoat stuff and, and doctor stuff up and use people to make you feel like it's easier if you just walk in the ways of the world. You're going to be accepted more. We're going to love you more, right? That's not how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be loved unconditionally for who you are, you know, just like God loves us unconditionally and he has mercy and grace for us. We need to get around folks who are going to love us every season of our life. We need people who are not going to um, try to cross boundaries, who are trying to gain a form of control, manipulate, gaslight, all these different things. This is something that you must do, chosen one. You have to do this in order to get certain people out of your life and let God do the work for you. You don't even have to put in that much work. Faith without works is dead, but all you got to do is simply read, pray, ask God for his will to be done in your life, and then take the action necessary to apply his word to your life you know, as best as you can every day. You can't just read the Bible and then not apply it. That's pointless. Absolutely pointless. The Bible's telling you don't do this, don't do that. Do this, don't, you know, do that. God's telling you in prayer to go here. Don't go there. Don't hang around this person. Start to apply this stuff in your life and watch the hand of God start moving. And you're going to see people's masks start slipping off. You're going to see people's true colors and motives and intentions. You're going to see the gaslighting intensify. You're going to see some things around you change. That's when you got to really pay attention and understand, okay, the closer I get to God, 
the more that I'm trying to change my life for the better, people are not going to like it. People are not going to applaud it. And these are not people I want around me. I need people who are going to be happy for me when I win, just like I'm going to be happy when they win. I need people who are going to clap for me when I get close to God and I'm walking in my God given purpose, just like I'm going to clap for them. You don't need to be around these people out here who want to control you, who want to take you back into the flesh, make you feel like it's a better lifestyle for you to live because you'll be accepted by them. You'll earn some of their love for walking in the ways of the flesh, for not being as serious about your walk with God anymore, for not taking this healing journey and this, this transformation that's happening as serious as you have been. Don't let folks do this. Don't let the devil operate through these people to get you back into your old ways, to get your boundaries back down. They want control. Demons are controlling. Demons don't respect boundaries. This is why you got to let God fight on your behalf. And you just got to stay in a place of obedience because the demons within people are not going to respect your boundaries a lot of the times, especially if they're narcissistic, if they have ill, Ill will towards you, if they don't want to see you win in life, if they don't want to see your life clean, cleaned up, if they don't want to see you stepping and walking and all God has for you, you better believe these demons are going to access them to try to get you back to that place of being controllable, being gullible, being easily manipulated, people pleasing out here, trying to earn people's love, trying to earn this and trying to make sure you don't hurt nobody's feeling and trying to tiptoe through everything just so you can gain a little bit of support and respect from people who never loved you in the first place. Keep your boundaries up in Christ, man. If you don't know about, you know, setting boundaries, I just learned about this. I'm very, um, educated in a lot of areas but i'm also very uneducated in some areas so this is something i've been big on something i'm praying about something i'm reading you know about i'm also incorporating the word obviously fasting and praying but remaining strong and firm in your boundaries in god the reason why god calls us to live a certain way is for our protection he wants to bless us he wants to protect us teach us guide us and lead us we just have to apply that word man so Hopefully this video encourages you, motivates you, does whatever. Like I said, just a little therapy talk, therapy session. I love you guys. If you made it to the end of the video, make sure you smash the like button down below. Goalswithpurpose.com, man. Go get you a hoodie for the fall. This isolated one and navy is hard. Got all different colors, man. You guys seen the purple one. If you guys like the shirt as well, it's called the Sensor T-shirt. It's available on the website under graphic tees, you know, assorted hoodies. I got collections, all kinds of good stuff, man. If you haven't seen on top, like I said, go watch that. I love you guys. I thank you guys. Say a prayer for your brothers out there, man. Say a prayer for your sisters. Say a prayer for yourself. You already know what it is. Until next time, it's your boy, King Justice.